Hey everyone, welcome to Skein Spider. I hope you're all doing well. Today's pattern is going to be a mandrake sapling, which I made for somebody over on Instagram. So if you'd like to make one yourself, grab your hooks and let's get started. To make this pattern, you're going to need a three millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, a needle, pins, stuffing, and eight ply yarn in a color or colors of your choice. You can also use safety eyes. However, a pattern for the eyes is going to be available in the tutorial if you don't want to use safety eyes. We're going to begin by putting six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is going to be six increases. For round three, we're going to begin with three single crochet. Two and three. And we're going to follow that with three increases in a row. Five. increase and we're just going to repeat that same pattern again three single crochet and three increases for round four we're going to begin with one single crochet we're going to follow this up with an increase and then we're going to do two single crochet, one increase, and we're going to repeat that pattern five times. After you've done your final increase, you should have one stitch remaining in your round, and we're just going to single crochet into that. And then round five is going to be three single crochet, one increase repeated six times. Round six begins with two single crochet followed by an increase. And then we're going to do a repeat of four single crochet, one increase five times. And we're going to finish off the round with two single crochet. Round seven is five single crochet, one increase repeated six times. At the end of round seven, you should have 42 stitches in your round. And round eight is just going to be 42 single crochet. Round nine begins with three single crochet and an increase. And then we're going to do a pattern repeat of six single crochet, one increase five times and finish off with three single crochet. Round 10 is 48 single crochet. From round 11 onwards, we're going to start breaking up many of the rounds into A, B, C, etc. For round 11, part A, you're going to do 20 single crochet. Round 11, part B, is going to be worked entirely into the front loops. We're going to begin by doing a triple crochet. 
To do that, you're going to yarn over twice. So we're going yarn over and then yarn over again, and then go into the next stitch. And remember, we're only working into the front loop. Once you've gone to the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. And you should have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And this will leave you with three loops on your hook. Yarn over once more, pull through two loops. This time you should be left with two loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops. And that's how we do a triple crochet. We're going to follow that with two double crochet. So into the front loop, one double crochet. The next front loop, double crochet. For the next three front loops, we're going to do half double crochets. and three the next stitch is going to be a single crochet in the front loop after that three more half double crochet Two double crochet and the final stitch of part B is going to be another triple crochet in the front loop again to triple crochet yarn over twice go into the front loop yarn over pull through you should have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through two more. And then yarn over and pull through the final two loops. Round 11, part C, is going to be 15 single crochet. And we're going to be working in both loops again. Round 12, part A, also begins with 20 single crochet. For round 12, part B, you're going to start with one triple crochet, then two double crochet, three half double crochet, one slip stitch, three half double crochet, two double crochet, and one triple crochet to finish. Unlike round 11 part B, round 12 part B is worked into both loops. So we're not working in just the front loop this time. Round 12 part C is just 15 single crochet. At the end of round 12, you should have 48 single crochet in your round. Rounds 13 through to 16 are just going to be 48 single crochet. However, the first one, so round 13, is going to be a little bit different. We're going to begin by doing 20 single crochet. I've finished the first 20 single crochet. Stitches number 21 through to 33 are just going to be a little bit different. What we're going to do is go into stitch 21, but instead of single crocheting here, we're first going to rotate our work forward a little bit, and you're going to work into 
the first exposed back loop from round 11, part B. So I've gone into stitch 21, and then I'm just going to go into, if I can see it, the first exposed back loop here. Once you've gone through both of those stitches, that's when we're going to single crochet. The reason we're doing this is it creates the eyebrows for our mandrake. And we're going to do the same with stitch number 22. So go into the stitch and then we're going to go into the next exposed back loop from round 11 part B. And once you've gone through both, that's when we single crochet. Once more into stitch 23, into the next exposed back loop. And you're going to continue doing this for all the stitches up to stitch number 33. And 33. For the rest of the stitches, so rounds, uh, sorry, stitch 34 through to 48, we're just going to single crochet as normal. And then rounds 14, 15 and 16 are just going to be 48 single crochet. Round 17, part A, is 25 single crochet. The stitches of round 17, part B, are worked entirely into the front loop, and we're going to do one half double crochet, one double crochet, one triple crochet, one double crochet, and then finish with one half double crochet. And remember, they're all done in the front loop. And round 17, part C, is worked in both loops again, and we're going to do 18 single crochet. At the end of round 17, you should still have 48 stitches in your round. And then rounds 18 through to 22 are just going to be 48 single crochet. Round 23 begins with three single crochet. And then we're going to do an invisible decrease. To do that, we're going to go under the front loops of the next two stitches. Once you've gone under both front loops, we're going to yarn over and pull through both of those front loops, yarn over and then pull through the two remaining loops on your hook. And that's how you do an invisible decrease. From this point, we're going to do a repeat of six single crochet, one decrease five times, and then finish off the round with three single crochet. Round 24 is five single crochet, one decrease repeated six times. At the end of round 24, you're going to take out your hook and secure your end. If you're using safety eyes, go ahead and insert them now. You're going to place them either side of the nose or the stitches we created in round 17B. If you don't want to add safety eyes, we are going to crochet some eyes later, so you can also sew those on. Once you've inserted the safety eyes, if you're using them, we're going to begin stuffing the head. Mm -hmm. 
when you finish stuffing go ahead and reinsert your hook and we'll continue with round 25 which is going to be 11 single crochet one increase repeated three times Round 26 begins with 6 single crochet and then an increase and then a repeat of 12 single crochet, 1 increase done twice, finishing off with 6 single crochet. Round 27 is 13 single crochet, 1 increase repeated 3 times. Round 28 begins with 7 single crochet and an increase and then we're going to do 14 single crochet, 1 increase twice, finishing off with 7 single crochet. From this point onwards, so round 29, a lot of the rounds are going to be divided up into parts A, B, C, D, etc just for the sake of clarity and to make the pattern a little bit easier to understand. So round 29, we're going to begin part A and that is going to be 12 single crochet. After you've done those first 12 single crochet, we're going to go on to round 29 part B, which is going to be nine single crochet worked into the front loop only. If you look closely at your stitches, you'll see that each stitch looks like a little V, a little V shape. The front loop is going to be the part of the V that's closest to you. So these, these parts of the stitches here, that's what we're going to work into for the next nine stitches. So just go under the first loop, first front loop, <laughs> yarn over and pull through. Second one under the front loop, yarn over, pull through number three and what you'll be able to see is the back loops are left exposed here so you'll end up with a line of back loops behind your nine stitches when you're finished and nine and just check behind and you should have nine back loops if you don't have this row of back loops you're going to need to undo your work and then redo it in the front loops only because we're going to be working into these back loops later on after those nine single crochet in the front loops we're going to finish round 29 with part c which is 27 single crochet worked in both loops again so i'm going to go under the front and back loop as normal and then just finish crocheting until the end of the round Round 30 is going to be 15 single crochet, one increase repeated three times. Round 31, part A is 34 single crochet in both loops. Round 31, part B, is 13 single crochet in the front loops only. And then round 31, part C, is going to be four single crochet in both loops. Round 32A begins with 13 single crochet. Now from this point we're going to be starting to create the wrinkles on the body and we do it in a very similar manner to the way that we created the eyebrow. 
So round 32 part B you're going to begin by going into the next stitch and then instead of yarning over and pulling through to finish the stitch we're going to go back into that first back loop from round 29 part B. So into the first stitch into the first back loop from round 29 part B. Get the stuffing out of the way so you can see that. Where are we? There we go. Once you've gone both through round 31 and the first stitch of round 29 part B, then you're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through again to single crochet. And you're going to do that eight more times or for nine stitches in total. So you go into the next stitch, into the next back loop, single crochet. Once again, stitch number three, back loop number three. And continue that for all nine stitches using all nine back loops. Mine. And as you can see, we've created a little wrinkle effect here. Now to finish round 32, or 32 part C, we're going to be working in both loops and you're just going to do 29 single crochet or just single crochet until the end of the round. We're going to begin round 33 with eight single crochet and then an increase. Eight and increase. And then still working in both loops, we're going to do 16 single crochet and an increase. And to finish off round 33 part A, we're just going to do another nine single crochet. Again, all in both loops. Round 33 part B is where we're going to create our second wrinkle. So we're going to work into the stitches from round 32, the previous round, as well as the stitches from, or the back loops, sorry, the back loops from 31, round 31 part B. And we're going to do that for 13 single crochet. Once again, go into the next stitch of what would have been round 32 and then down into the first exposed back loops from 31 part B. Single crochet and you're going to do that 12 more times, 13 in total. We're going to finish round 33 with part C and once again we're working in both loops. We're going to do one increase and then two single crochet. At the end of round 33 you should have 54 stitches in your round and rounds 34 and 35 are just going to be 54 single crochet all the way around. For round 36 part A, we're going to begin by working in the front loops and we're going to do eight single crochet. So once again, all in the front loops for eight single crochet. One. For part B, we're going to work in both loops and we're going to do 22 single crochet. Part C, we're going to be working into the front loops again and we're going to do nine single crochet. And then round 36, part D is just going to be 15 single crochet in both loops.
At the end of round 36, you should still have 54 stitches in your round, and then rounds 37 and 38 are just going to be 54 single crochet. For round 39 part A, we're going to create another wrinkle. So you're going to begin by working into the first stitch of round 38, and then the first back loop from round 36 part A. Where are we? There we go. And we're just going to single crochet those together. And that is our first stitch of round 39. And we're going to do that for eight single crochet all up. So number two into the stitch, into the back loop, single crochet. And then the rest of 39 is going to be part B and we're just going to single crochet for the entire round or 46 single crochet all up. Round 40, part A, is 18 single crochet in both loops. Part B is five single crochet in the front loop only. For part C, we're going to work in both loops and do eight single crochet. Round 40, part D, is nine single crochet, and we're going to be working into round 39 and the back loops from round 36, part C. And then round 40, part E, is worked in both loops, and we're going to do 14 single crochet, or just single crochet until the end of the round. For round 41 part A, we're going to do seven single crochet in both loops. Round 41 part B is eight single crochet in the front loops only. And then for round 41, part C, we're just going to single crochet for the rest of the round, 39 single crochet in total. Round 42, part A, is 18 single crochet in both loops. For part B, we're going to work into the stitches of round 41 and also the back loops from round 40 part B and we're going to do that for five single crochet. You go into the stitch, into the first back loop and single crochet. Round 42 part C is 19 single crochet in both loops. Round 42, part B, is just 12 single crochet worked into the front loop only. So you're going to work in the front loop for the rest of the round. Round 43, part A, is 7 single crochet in both loops.
For the next seven single crochet, we're going to work into the stitches from round 42 and also the exposed back loops from round 41 part A. And then part C is just 40 single crochet or single crochet until the end of the round. Round 44 is just 54 single crochet all the way around. Round 45A is 16 single crochet in both loops. Round 45 Part B is 17 single crochet in the front loops only. For part C, work into both loops for 9 single crochet. And then part D will be the remainder of the round and there should be 12 stitches. We're going to work into the stitches from round 44 and then into the exposed back loops from round 42 part D and single crochet those together. Round 46 is just 54 single crochet all the way around. Round 47A is 16 single crochet in both loops. For part B we're going to work into the stitches of round 46 as well as the back loops from rounds 45 part B and we're going to do that for 17 stitches. And then part C is just 21 single crochet in both loops. Round 48 is just 54 single crochet all the way around. From round 49 onwards, we're going to be doing decrease rounds and round 49 is seven single crochet, one decrease repeated six times. At the end of round 49, secure your end and then we're going to add some stuffing to the body. When you finish stuffing, reinsert your hook and we're going to continue on with round 50. Yes, we're up to round 50. And that is three single crochet and a decrease followed by a repeat of six single crochet one decrease done five times and we're going to finish off with three single crochet round 51 is five single crochet one decrease done six times Round 52 begins with two single crochet and a decrease and then repeat four single crochet, one decrease five times, finish off with two single crochet. Mm -hmm. 
Round 53 is three single crochet, one decrease, repeated six times. At the end of round 53, go ahead and add any remaining stuffing. When all the stuffing's finished, we're going to go on with round 54, which is one single crochet followed by a decrease, then two single crochet, one decrease done five times, finishing off with one single crochet. Round 55 is one single crochet, one decrease, repeated six times. And round 56, our final round is just six decreases. When you're finished, we're just going to cut a small tail. And then pull up with your hook. And then you're going to thread this tail end through your needle. To close up this hole, all we're going to do is insert our needle under the front loop of each of the last six stitches. So starting from behind the front loop, you're going to go underneath it push through to the front one do the same for stitch number two under the front loop two three four five and lastly six And then just pull on that thread and as you can see the hole, hole will close up but you will be left with a little bit of a lump to get rid of that we're going to insert our needle straight into the center of that circle and then weave our needle through and then out to the side of the body into a stitch somewhere doesn't matter which one and pull on that and as you can see that little lump will lay flat Continue just weaving your needle through the body to secure your end. Snip off the excess when you're done. And with that, the body is almost finished. All we need to do now is shape it a little bit, but we're going to leave that until the assembly stage. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Next week, we'll be crocheting all the limbs for our mandrake sapling. So I'll see you all then.